folks guitar lesson it's claw hammer picking what the heck is claw hammer picking well we'll get to that in a second we're tuned to open g this is an a string tuned down from a to g it's a d string tuned normal to d and a g string tuned normal to g classic open g tuning g d g all right so claw hammer picking this gives you a lot of options you can do walking bass lines you can do chord strumming and all sorts of things i'm anchoring my hand with my pinky i'm using my thumb and first finger for the most part to pick you can also use your second and third so we're going to start out with a classic walking blues i'm using my thumb on the third string and my first finger on the first string my thumb is also playing on the second string but we're going to start out with first finger on the first string and thumb on the third string. I'm anchoring my hand with my pinky. So that's the tempo that we'll be playing. So this is a classic walking bass pattern. I'm using my thumb on the third string and second first finger on the first string the first string is what they call a drone string I'm going to be playing that string over and over what I'm doing here on the left hand is zero three second string open second fret first finger third fret second finger and back down so it's three zero three three with your second finger two zero two two with your first finger and back down this is a good way to start out again anchoring with the pinky sorts of other cool stuff but this is a good place to start all right so that's the one chord or the g chord for the open tune g blues so now we're going to bar on the fifth fret that's the same pattern but i'm barring here on the fifth fret which brings us up to the c chord so first finger is on five and that's going to be on the third string then you're going to go up three frets above that same picking pattern by the way with the right hand up three frets now we're going to play the second string which is barred with the first finger two frets up one more up back down so basically it's your third string and then three frets up then your second string third finger two frets up pinky one up back down notes you're playing the first string which is barred I'm only using my first finger and my thumb same thing we did on five but now on seven seventh fret back down to the fifth okay so that's the super common walking bass line or walking blues as they say there's a lot of different ways you can play that but that's a good place to start as far as your finger picking anchor 
is the main thing. And then when you use your fingers to pick, your hand's not gonna be moving around. You're gonna be anchoring it with that pinky. So that makes it a whole lot easier to strum and pick those strings. Now you can also use your second finger and your third finger and your pinky if you like. I'm not too good at the pinky, but I can get my second and third finger in there. One thing you can try is use your third finger, your second, and your thumb. Or you can use your first and second and your thumb if you like. You can also do what's called a triplet, which is three notes in a row. Triplet, triplet, triplet. is that you're doing a picking pattern and I'm doing a second finger first finger thumb second finger first finger thumb now if you had four strings you can use your first second third and fourth fingers so this is a claw hammer walking blues just a shortened riff. Instead of the full walking pattern, I shortened those two. So this is the five chord, or D, four chord, or C. Also, you can change the feel of it. So you can go... are tuned to the chord. So it offers you a lot of really cool licks. seen some of these lessons on my videos similar to this finger picking style so that's one swinging kind of a blues thing so now if we change it up just a little bit we can do a strum instead of a finger picking so I'm just using my thumb and first finger I'm pretending like I have a pick in my hand and because we're tuned open I can strum all three strings so what I'm doing here is open chord, second finger on 3-3, three, three. now I'm using no fingers at all. Then I use my first finger on 2-2, two, two. walk up. So this hand is doing, wait, that hand, is doing the same thing we did earlier, but now we're doing the open boogie. Doing a strum instead of a finger picking. And there's your turnaround. Walking down on the second string from three to two to one to zero, and we go up to the seventh fret. you want to keep in mind when you're doing finger picking is you want to pick a certain kind of a riff or picking pattern and then you can play your one four five chord progression so let's try a couple more so let's say I'm doing a one four five open G but instead of doing the finger picking I'm just going to do the strumming so what I'm doing there is zero two three on the middle string and no fingers on the outside two strings. So those are two drone Gs. So how would I do that riff for the four chord? You wanna walk up with your pinky or third finger. I'm not using my 
second finger at all, although it does look like it. <laughs> I use my pinky like I just did, but you want to get into the practice of using your pinky and third finger. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I get to a certain chord at tempos that quick? How do I move my finger to the proper fret that quick? It's really easy. You don't. You put your open C in between. So if I'm playing a relatively fast boogie and I'm on the five chord, which will be the seventh fret, and I want to jump down to the fifth fret, kind of hard to do at that tempo, especially a super fast tempo like. So what am I doing there? How do I get there? A really, really, really short, tiny, almost imperceptible open G in between. they're free well if you long as you're tuned to G so those chords are built into the tuning of the guitar so they're always there so if you don't want to put a click in which you can but if you don't want to this is what the click sounds like if you don't want to put that click in If you're playing slow, you don't really have that problem. You can kind of slide down pretty quick from seven to five. a few little tidbits of information for you there. Hope you have fun with that. Check out my website, jagshouse.com, cigar box guitars, just like this one since 2004. Be sure and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.